Right, another box. Uh, this one I've had for a while. Um, you can probably see where it's come from. There's a place called GDS Butiken, which is do-it-yourself shop here in Sweden. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what's in this. I've not opened it. I've had it for a while, like I said, but I've not opened it yet. So it's going to be quite interesting. This. I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a look what's in it then. Right, the first thing we see in this box is a bigger box that I can't get up yet. Get rid of some packaging stuff, some bottles, a tub, a little pipe, and a DC power supply. Right, we've got a power supply. What all this lot is for is a plating kit. Right, so this is what we've got in the kit then. We've got the power supply which is there. Uh, we've got volts at the top, amps at the bottom there. Uh, it goes up to 30 volts and it can go up to, I think it's 5 amps or 10 amps, 5 amps I think it is. There's a nice little powerful unit there. Inside here I've got three 5 litre tubs of the uh, zinc liquid. God knows what it's called in English, but that's what it is anyway. You can see it there. So there's three of them in there. And there's a tube. And then there's this plastic tub here for mixing stuff in. Uh, what I've also bought for it is uh, these sm slightly smaller tubs here. Um, and basically if I want to just do, let's say just this bolt, I don't want to fill all of that load with nearly 15 litres of liquid. I can just use this one, it's about 3 or 4 litres this one is. So it's a bit easier to use, a bit, le a bit easier to handle. So I bought one of them. Uh, I've also bought a bucket. So, it's a little tiny bucket, it's quite cute. Uh, afterwards, when everything's been done with the zinc, I could just rinse it off in the bucket uh, of water there. So, I've got that little bucket. So, I bought those to it as well. Right. Oh, we've got the tube as well. Right. In this, we've got some cables. Uh, quite a simple kit, really. We've got a red one with a zinc ball attached to it. And we've got two black ones with a black cable attached to it. So let's put this all together and I'll show you how it works. Right, so it's dead simple to set up. The black wire goes in the black hole. The red wire goes in the red hole. Not more difficult than that. The other end of the red wire then is attached to the zinc ball, which is now dipped in the water. The black cables are then attached to these two earthing rods uh, and I've put one straight across the top of the tub there uh, and then we've got some bits here I've took an old wheel nut here from a it's an old focus that one uh, and I've got a selection of bolts here these three here are the ones that hold the cover to the uh, wiper wiper motor for Alice and these are the ones that hold the wiper motor bracket to the car uh, and all we've done with them is we took a wire brush to them and clean them up made them all nice and shiny so that the zinc will sit better on it and we've done the same thing as best we can with this wheel nut we're never going to get rid of all the dints and marks and things like that in it but we've got rid of a lot of the rust and things like that so what needs to happen now is the copper wire coming out of each one of them needs to be in contact with this so basically i'll hang them from the copper wire uh, and then we can turn the power on and see what happens Let's crack on. Right, so that's all the bol all the bolts hanging in the water there. The copper wire, as you can see, is hanging around the threaded bar there. And the wheel nut is down there as well, hanging on the copper wire. Uh, we need to make sure that nothing touches the zinc ball, which it isn't at the moment, so that's good. Uh, all we need to do now then, turn the power on. Now at the moment, it's set to two amps, which is quite high. Uh, I need to turn the amp down. And we're going to go for probably about 1.3 amps at the moment. Uh, what we don't want to see is what's happening with that bolt right there at the moment. There's a lot of crap coming off of it at the moment so it's bubbling quite hard. Uh, I think that, that is basically it just reacting. So we're going to turn the amps down a little bit. 
about 1.1 amp, something like that. See if it stops bubbling. Bring it back down a little bit further. I think it's just reacting to all the the fat on the grease and stuff on my fingers and things like that. Bring it down a bit there. I'll come up a little bit. So we're probably about half an amp there now. There, now it stopped bubbling. Or stopping bubbling. It's slowing down the bubbling now. We are at 0.6 of an amp there. So these now need about half an hour, I would say. Something like that. In the water just to cook a bit. So we'll come back in a bit in about half an hour. Right, while those parts are in the bath, we're going to take some metal parts like this radiator fan casing. Uh, we're going to put them in the blaster, get rid of all the paint and all the rust and all that sort of shit. And uh, we're going to make them one look nice and clean. So, quick coat of paint and uh, we'll see how they turn out. And this is the end result of the fan cowling. Looks quite neat. All the paint gone, all the rust gone of it. Um, looks quite a little shiny there with the where it's been blasted. So it looks quite nice. Let's have a look at the other parts and see how they turned out. All right, that's the finished result of that plate there now. So, quick coat of primer and some black paint on that, and it's going to look beautiful again. And this is the end result of the cowling. Um, it's just a rattle can job. It had a red oxide primer put on first, and then this shiny black uh, satin paint put on the top of that. And I think it looks quite nice, actually. Turned out quite well. Right, I put everything in about 20 minutes, and it's about two and a half minutes left on it at the moment. These bolt bolts here that are looking really close here, they've definitely got a shine on them. And that one over there, it's a bit hard to take photos of it now while they're in the water, but those ones have definitely got a shine on them. The the wheel bolt there, the ring on it, the is definitely getting shinier. The rest of it, I think, is just the rust kind of bubbling away on it. Uh, it's really hard to photo it while it's in the water. Uh, so yeah, we'll give it another couple of minutes, and we'll take them out and we'll have a look at them. If it needs a bit longer, I can chuck them back in again and we'll... Cook them for a bit longer. Right, time's up. So There we go. I think we can get them in the light here, probably. I'm not sure, hopefully. But they definitely look a whole lot shinier than what they did when they went in there. They look really, really nice, they do. I love the way it's shiny, all nice and shiny that bolt is. I'm try and get it in the cover, but that looks amazing. They really do look nice and shiny and clean. So we'll just dip them in the water just to get rid of all the, the liquid that's on them. And we'll leave them there to dry for a few minutes. And we're we'll going to have a look at this bolt. I'm not this no I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, and I probably think it's not going to be as nice as those other bolts, and that's basically because it didn't look as nice to start with. So, as we can see with that, it has definitely got a coat of zinc on it now. What it hasn't got is here, and that's probably the rust there that was still stuck underneath it. Um, so where the rust was, it's not turned out very nice. But the collar here, that's definitely got a nice shine to it, because that we could get really, really nice and clean there. Uh, everything else, this side was really nice and clean on this and that side of it. The rest of it was, oh there's another one, all nice and shiny here, but the rest of it is, there's a bit too much rust on it to get a nice finish out of it. So we'll give that one a quick dip as well, in the water just to neutralise it. 
Um, but I don't think that bolt is going to get any better than what it is, apart from here where it looks really, really nice, really, really smooth. Um, so I'm quite happy with the, the finish on that bolt, but that's basically because of how it started out. These bolts, these we got really nice and clean on the tops of the heads and stuff, so these came out really, really nice. They came out wonderful. Really, really happy with these bolts. So we're going to put some more stuff in the water and uh, leave them there for a bit longer and we'll see what happens with that. I bet you're all wondering what it looks like now. Well, I've been busy with a lot of stuff now here. We've done, um, done quite a few bits, but I'll just show you anyway. We'll look what we've got round to doing. Um, I think you can agree that that looks pretty amazing when it's finished. It looks absolutely brand new, that lock mechanism. Uh, the fan looks absolutely fantastic on there and the heater motor also looks pretty amazing. Uh, one thing I didn't show on the on the video is those washers underneath the motor but I did zinc them as well at the same time. So now we've put all that effort into making the back plate nice and shiny, all the motor shiny, these bolts that are here, the bolt that's right behind that cover that you'll never ever see, that's all nice and shiny. The one that's in there somewhere. There, look, there it is. It's all nice and shiny, but you can't see it. Uh, there's a bolt there. There's two more, some nice washers. So we've made that all look really, really beautiful. So we're just going to cover it all up with that plastic cover, and you won't ever see any of it. So that was that was really worth it. But there you go, everything looks absolutely beautiful of what we've done today. The only problem now is the rest of it looks really, really shitty and dirty. I'm not sure what I've started now. I'm not sure what I've got myself into. Oh well. Right, so that's all the nice shiny engine bay bits. As you can see, they look really, really shiny compared to the rest of the engine. But that's all I'm done. Uh, next project that I've got to get done is right the way back here. And we're looking at these spots in the boot. They're not rusted through, so they're only on the inner skin, that's the skin that's inside the boot here. But there's a few spots of rust in here, so I want to get them all treated and finished up, put some little plates on and whatever. And then, I've still got some paint left over, so I want to paint the entire boot area in there. Once that's done, um, I think the engine's got to come out, hasn't it, really? Right, so if you enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see some more, uh, press the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.